Hey guys, Mr. Idol Hockey here back with another video. Today I'm going to give you an update on the... What's it called? Arctic MX4. Arctic MX4. Uh, paste to repaste, whatever you want to call it, paste. Uh, I was going to do six month review. But it didn't even last four months, guys. It went three months, three and, three and a bit months. And it's already creeping up. Temperatures, idle temperatures, about 72 max as you can see and this with no no power plugged in it's just on battery when uh, last night when i was on it it was it was burning my leg that's how bad it was then i checked the temperatures were 94 degrees just with a few internet tabs open and uh, one very lo low powered game which uses intel hd graphics that's how low powered it is it doesn't even need the normal graphics card so yeah Arctic MX4 is a very big failure for me. It's worse than the Cryonaut. So the next paste I'm going to be trying is the... Well, that means Arctic... Wait. That means the Cryonaut is better than the Arctic MX4 because that lasted six months at least before I started doing overheating again. And I'm going to show you underneath if it started pumping out or anything when I open it now. And uh, the four month one, this is the... It didn't last four months, about three and a half months. That's what this last Arctic MX4 lasted. It's not very good, is it, guys? So the next one we're going to use is the Hydro Knot. I've not got the Hydro Knot at the moment, so I'm going to repaste it with the R MX4. So it should last me another three months, hopefully. So till I get the Hydro Knot in, I'm not going to repaste it. So another three months, hopefully this will last through the summer. If it doesn't, then uh, I'm going to repaste it quickly when the Hydro Knot comes. I've ordered it, so yeah. But for now, I'm going to open this up again. Give it a good clean and then i'll show you what the paste looks like the arctic air mx after just three months three and a half months call it four months close to four months so after four months what it looks like underneath if it started pumping out or anything and stuff like that why is it why is it overheating because with the thermal cryonaut i didn't even use any of this to clean it i just literally use the tissue to clean off whereas with this one i did a proper clean so it should be a better surface Better surface, better mating, better everything. So it's just not, it's just worse. So yeah, we'll check out why that's happened. And uh, yeah. I guess, as you can see, laptop is very dusty. So that needs a good clean again. Look at that. Big two spoonies everywhere. It's not very good, is it? Both sides. So I'm going to first give this a quick clean and then we we'll have a look at the thermal paste. Very dusty. That's probably due to where it's kept, I guess. I don't know. Or maybe even the the fan, because the fan's always having to be full speed. They're pulling more dust. It's a really bad effect, but yeah. I'm just going to give this a quick clean. Now, guys, main surface has been cleaned to the best I can do it at the moment so yeah most of the dust is gone it's all on me just use the tissue to clean it I did try using a hoover from far away it wasn't picking up dust so I just thought I'd do it by hand again so yeah it's pretty better than before so I'm not I'm not too not too bothered about that okay so what I'm gonna do now is uh, open these screws up and put it in the order like I always do in my other videos Put them in the order that they actually are because some of them are different size screws okay oh this is the arctic mx4 as you can see it's thinned out very quickly that is the main reason and he has pumped out quite a bit it's not pumped out too much but he has pumped out quite a bit that's the main reason the main reason behind it is because uh there's too much metal showing can you see it's thinned out too quickly compared to look at that you can see the bare copper on that side you can see the bare dye on this side as well it's thinned out very quickly same here i can read out the letters on that can you see the letters there that's how thin it's become same on this side the coppers you can literally see the exposed copper whereas uh the arctic mx2 actually i used on these ones the whatever you call them the vrms they actually stayed quite good so thinking guys i'm thinking 
but then again these don't get as hot as these so that's the difference between the pump out effect I guess these didn't pump out because they didn't go over the temperatures so when these all hit over 85 I think that's when they started to uh, thin out and uh, pump out as well at the same time because all of them were spread evenly like you can see but when you get a certain temperature these thermal plates are pretty useless so Arctic MX4 is a failure for me guys next one I'm going to try is Hydronaut alright so for now I'm just going to repaste it using the Arctic MX4 and MX2 because that's all I have so yeah it is what it is guys anyways thank you guys for watching this has been the Arctic MX4 and uh, yeah stay tuned for the Hydronaut Cryonaut Hydronaut what's it called Cry Hydronaut stay tuned for that I'll give you a six month update once I actually do that one. So yeah. Anyway guys, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. See you guys next time. Goodbye.